Animal euthanasia is the act of killing an animal or allowing it to die by withholding extreme medical measures. Reasons for euthanasia include incurable conditions or diseases, lack of resources to continue supporting the animal, or laboratory test procedures. Euthanasia methods are designed to cause minimal pain and distress. Euthanasia is distinct from animal slaughter and pest control although in some cases the procedure is the same. In domesticated animals, this process is commonly referred to by euphemisms such as put down or put to sleep. The methods of euthanasia can be divided into pharmacological and physical methods. Acceptable pharmacological methods include injected drugs and gases that first depress the central nervous system and then cardiovascular activity. Acceptable physical methods must first cause rapid loss of consciousness by disrupting the central nervous system. The most common methods are discussed here, but there are other acceptable methods used in different situations. Upon administration of intravenous anesthetic, unconsciousness, respiratory then cardiac arrest follow rapidly, usually within 30 seconds. Some veterinarians perform a two-stage process. An initial injection that simply renders the pet unconscious and a second shot that causes death. This allows the owner the chance to say goodbye to a live pet without their emotions stressing the animal. It also greatly mitigates any tendency towards spasm and other involuntary movement which tends to increase the emotional upset that the pet's owner experiences. For large animals, the volumes of barbiturates required are considered by some to be impractical. Although this is standard practice in the United States, for horses and cattle, other drugs may be available. Some specially formulated combination products are available, such as somulos and tributame which cause deep unconsciousness and cardiac arrest independently with a lower volume of injection, thus making the process faster, safer, and more effective. Occasionally, a horse injected with these mixtures may display apparent seizure activity before death. This may be due to premature cardiac arrest. However, if normal precautions are taken, this is really a problem. Anecdotal reports that long-term use of phenylbutazone increases the risk of this reaction are unverified. After the animal has died, it is not uncommon for the body to have posthumous body jerks or a sudden bladder outburst. Gas anesthetics such as isoflurane and sevoflurane can be used for euthanasia of very small animals. The animals are placed in sealed chambers where high levels of anesthetic gas are introduced. Death may also be caused using carbon dioxide once unconsciousness has been achieved by inhaled anesthetic. Carbon dioxide is often used on its own for euthanasia of wild animals. There are mixed opinions on whether it causes distress when used on its own. With human experiments lending support to the evidence that it can cause distress and equivocal results in non-humans. In 2013, the American Veterinary Medical Association issued new guidelines for carbon dioxide induction, stating that a flow rate of 10% to 30% volume per minute is optimal for the humane euthanization of small rodents. Carbon monoxide is often used, but some states in the U.S. have banned its use in animal shelters. Although carbon monoxide poisoning is not particularly painful, the conditions in the gas chamber are often not humane. Nitrogen has been shown to be effective, although some young animals are more resistant to the effects, and it currently is not widely used. Cervical dislocation, or displacement of the neck, is an older yet less common method of killing small animals such as mice. Performed properly it is intended to cause as painless a death as possible and has no cost or equipment involved. The handler must know the proper method of executing the movement which will cause the cervical displacement and without proper training and method education there is a risk of not causing death and can cause severe pain and suffering. It is unknown how long an animal remains conscious or the level of suffering it goes through after a correct snapping of the neck, which is why it has become less common and often substituted with inhalants. When intravenous injection is not possible, euthanasia drugs such as pentobarbital can be injected directly into a heart chamber or body cavity. While intraperitoneal injection is fully acceptable, an intracardiac injection may only be performed on an unconscious or deeply sedated animal.
performing IC injections on a fully conscious animal in places with humane laws for animal handling is often a criminal offense. This can be a means of euthanasia for large animals, such as horses, cattle, and deer. If performed properly, this may be performed by means of the reasons for euthanasia of pets and other animals include small animal euthanasia is typically performed in a veterinary clinic or edge.